Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a reading for the sign of Leo. So Leo, a cross watcher, wherever you have the planetary placement in your chart, please claim the energy in a helpful, positive way for yourself. Or I was going to say go away, but no, leave the reading where it is. I'm only kidding. Here we go. Let's hit this. Clear a ground for Leo, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective of Leo. All right, Leo, energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field, and it can be past, present, or future. Show me the energy. Please and thank you. Here we go. Leo, Leo, please and thank you. Clearly and concisely. All right, you got an eight of swords. <clears throat> feeling trapped or confined in a situation. Feeling like your hands are tied or your back is up against a wall. Two fries short of a happy meal. Ready for the Thorazine shuffle at the nut house. Because of worry, fear, and anxiety. And making up problems for every solution. This is what you do. Okay, self-imposed. And this is what. Now let's see what's going on. Please and thank you. The number eight could be of significance. August. So six of wands. You're gonna have you're worried about having some kind of victory. You're worried about being successful in a situation or having some kind of victory. This is what this is. You want it, you want something to work out in your favor. You want to actually be seen very favorably here in this situation with the six of wands. It's Aries energy. Maybe you want some recognition or a reward for you're worried about some kind of reward for something, doing something successfully. What's at the foundation of the situation for Leo, please? Somebody give me 68 here. It's a three of cups. Kind of came out in reverse. You know, it, it's on a slant here. So at the foundation of the situation, you might have been feeling lonely or isolated here. Three of cups in reverse. Maybe you had a little imbalance, most likely in your social life. It's, a, it's an energy of solitude. Three of cups in reverse is an energy of not wanting to go out and party. Maybe feeling like you have no support or a circle of support or friends around you. Like that, you know? So, yeah, an imbalanced, yeah. So, let's see. Crowning you. Somebody needs to shave here. Shave. I'm seeing. Okay. Okay. Ba uh, crowning you is an eight of cups. You, oh, you're about to walk away from something. Somebody's about to walk away from something. It is an eight of cups, okay? Eight of cups talks about, you know, some kind of moving on and searching for the emotional fulfillment and um, happiness. That you did not receive in the previous eight cups, okay? Those were your taste testers. Nothing satiated your palate. And now you're going to be moving on. Or somebody is. To find their happiness, okay? So, yeah. And again, 888. 888 megahertz. 888 hertz. Let's get rid of that negativity and push it away. While we're on the subject. Playing for your healing sound bath in the background, Leo. It's set at 288 megahertz. 288 hertz. This is our sacral chakra which is located between your navel and your genitals. The mantra is, I feel. I feel, because we want to feel that, right? And it's about creativity and abundance. It's all forms of sexual sexuality. Your desires, your fantasies, your kinkiness, your self-gratification, your emotions, your sensuality, and your passion, right? If you're going to use a crystal. By the way, the element is water. The color is orange. So if you're going to use a crystal, anything orange. Yellow adventuring, tiger eye, citrine, amber, rutilated quartz, coral, or red adventuring, or carnelian, okay? Now, what's, okay, so there's an energy of some kind of departure walking away, all right? So what's coming in very near future that Leo does not see? Hold on. Okay, woof, shit, that went into a lot of his bed. Okay, so uh, the way I picked it up is in reverse. I feel like it came out that way. Okay, so this, okay, somebody's delaying some kind of a transition. So... Here it is. Like, maybe you know that you need to walk away from something, but you're not doing it. You're delaying the inevitable. It's an inability to move forward. And the reason why, it's probably from fear, all right? It's fear of new beginnings. It's fear of the unknown. It's fear of change. It's face everything and run. So you're delaying something that's inevitable anyway. The 13th could be of significance or the 4th. You need to move forward to go for, but I think you're afraid of whatever transition this movement is going to invoke. Oh, shit. All right, so how are you looking at this? Now you got Scorpio energy. How are you looking at this in your mind's eye in the back of your head there, Leo? We love you, Leo. By the way, thank you for taking the valuable time every day to join us. We see you. We acknowledge you. We acknowledge that you're 
took your time and spent some of it with us, and we absolutely love you for it, okay? We're sending you abundance and prosperity and health and happiness in every freaking fucking form possible to infinity and beyond. I'm not going to take those because it just was too goddamn many. Show me one card here for how Leo is perceiving this inability to move forward. How are you perceiving this? Okay, thank you. You're perceiving this like, oh, Queen of Cups in reverse. So maybe, you know, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, you could be feeling very vulnerable or overly sensitive or insecure. This is an energy of insecurity as well. I mean, the Queen of Cups, yeah. It could be because of, you know, whatever it was here that you're stuck up in your head and you have to move away from. Like, this could have made you feel um, maybe, yeah. This is like a lack of love. So there's a lack of love here, okay? Or a, a high level of insecurity and fearing the future. Or fearing moving forward because, but knowing that there's no love in a situation, but needing to go. Then here, hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back. Oh, somebody likes to drink a lot of coffee. What is in the environment? Please and thank you. Okay. In your actual environment... You have a six of swords. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is moving forward. This is, yeah. Six of swords and eight of cups. Six of swords is when you accept your lessons and you depart, okay? It's transition. It's moving on. It's accepting your, yeah. It's putting distance between you and whatever doesn't serve you anymore. You know, don't forget, there had to be a five of swords before the six of swords. There was some fucking conflict and bullshit, right? And moving away from it. So you're, you're in this transitional period, but you're, I mean, you're doing it, okay? But you're you're taking longer than you should be doing it. You're delaying it out of fear, Leo. Now, I know none of you are the cowardly lines out there. So you face that fear. Face everything and rise and move forward. And if this is you, you know, you're looking at this like maybe this is somebody that has Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart. High Scorpio that doesn't want to move forward. Like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe you want to move in forward energetically, emotionally, whatever it is, okay? And now you, you, you have this needy ass clingy person that's very insecure that doesn't is resisting this change so if you're specifically a masculine something like that okay the queen of cups in reverse is it could be a mother or mother figure but it's like somebody that this is like an imbalance it's somebody who could be jealous and deceitful too it's you know it's like a yeah so you, you're trying to move away from this energy somehow some way what is or they are trying to move away from you but this is in your mind's eye so you know I think this is the way you're perceiving this. I'm feeling like this is the way you, you're looking at this person. Like they're weak and they're vulnerable and they're clingy and they're, you know. All right. So we have a Ten of Wands coming out in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse is an energy of, you know, oh God, lessons. I can't just even believe this. There's some kind of collapse here. Like lessons learned, we're moving on. Like I'm over all the burdens, baggage, and bullshit. Or feeling like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. <laughs> Excuse me, Leo. Eight of Wands. Again, rapid forward movement. Moving forward. Quick change. 888 again. Let's move the negativity again. This is alleviating yourself of the weight of the world on your shoulders, okay? And with the Nine of Pentacles... Listen, I'm going to tell you something. A lot of you might be in some kind of relationship here that you, you feel binded by, okay? This is what. And you want some kind of success and victory here. You were feeling isolated and lonely and maybe like you did not have a circle of support around you at the foundation and you need to move on. But somebody here, high feminine energy with Scorpio in their chart, okay, it's not, is afraid to move forward. It could be because, you know, this person just lacks, you know, this person's just back. It's a queen of cups in reverse, okay? So what do you want me to tell you? They're unloving, they're cold, they're backstabbing, they're insecure, they're needy, they're... Clingy. It's a, I'm getting like this. I'm getting. A, I'm feeling like I'm smothered all of a sudden. I can't. I'm like. So what are you doing? You're trying to move on in your environment, okay? And you're trying to alleviate yourself of the weight of the world of this this fucking quilt that I feel like just got thrown over my head, okay? That's what. Like I can't breathe all of a sudden with this person. I don't know, man, because you're looking at this person like they're delaying a change because they can't let go of you, okay? And where you're headed is, though, single and successful. You want to be on your own, Virgo energy. You want to enjoy the fruits of your labor here, and you want it to happen fucking fast, okay? <laughs> wow. What's going on with you, Leo? So, here you go. This is what? Spirit wants you to alleviate yourself of the burdens, baggage, and bullshit and do it on your own, Okay? This is single and successful and not maybe not having a relationship. Just 
you know. Okay, so. What is the most likely outcome to this debacle? I gotta tell you, I don't even know. Who's... An ace of cups in reverse. What am I telling you? Thank you, spirit and ancestors. I am so grateful for the confirmation of my gifts. Ace of cups in reverse. That's it. It's over. It's empty. It's gloomy. There's no love. It's repressed emotions. It's the end. So whoever this clinging person is, they got to go, okay? It, it, there's no love there. Where is the love? It's gone. That's where it is, okay? That's it. It's over. Ace of cups in reverse. We're done. We're done. Yeah, it could be a divorce. It could be, uh, you know, oh God, this is a breakup. It's a done. It's a done. It's a done deal. Now, oh, but coming in, you have the love is. Look at this. Oh, and the four of wands. This is crazy. With an empress, though. See, so I think you're moving on up to the east side. And the ten of pentacles. Get out of bedrock. All right, here you go, Leo. Move away from this shit. We got sixes across the board now. Heart chakra opening. Okay, Gemini energy. Soulmate coming in. A decision that has to be made. And if it's not a soulmate coming in, this could be just somebody that, you know, you are a soulmate with that maybe their love is gone now. It, you know, there's a decision that has to be made about a relationship here. This could be somebody coming in, though. Hi, Gemini. Or hi, somebody with high Aries in their chart. Gemini is it's a four of wands. It's happiness. It's stability. It's community. Maybe you're making a decision about this. Like, you know, do we get a divorce? Do we break up? What do we do here? I don't know. Are we going to go be happy? But somebody's an empress here. And somebody's got the ten of fucking pentacles going on over here. So I don't, you know, I feel like this is you knowing your worth and your value. You're very fertile, okay? And you, and you, you know, I'm hearing materializing. Oh shit! <laughs> materializing some kind of happy situation with, you know, somebody who's a soulmate here. Somebody. This is creativity. This, you know, the Empress is Taurus energy all day, every day. This is the best embodiment of all four queens rolled up into one, and then some. Some give me 34, 64, 46, 33. Tenth could be of significance, the eighth, the eighth, the eighth, again, six, six, six. Here we go. Here comes a hot, passionate offer. And somebody's going to be, yeah, look at the ace of wands. You, you guys got to be, you know how you are, Leo, all right? You're passionate, that goes to the nose. Passionate, passionate, this is it. You're headed to some hot, passionate sex with this. You got the knight of wands here. New beginnings. Fertilization. Somebody might get pregnant, so, you know, make sure you're bagging it and bagging it, Yeah. Listen, it's better to have a condom and not need it than need to not have it. Like, don't, like, be knocking people up, whatever you're doing. I'm seeing somebody getting knocked up here. Here we go. So now you got the 10. That's Sagittarius energy all day, every day for the Wheel of Fortune. Luck is turning on your side. It's a turning point in your luck, okay? Decisions that are going to change the fate of your destiny. And furthermore, soulmates. Let's see. Archangel Michael. Let's see. Give me one. Okay, this is it. Now you got the 11. What is this? This is 11 or 2. This is 2. This is the high priestess. Pisces energy. Maybe there's some kind of... Um, maybe you should do this quietly. Whatever's going on. Maybe somebody's intuition is changing here. Maybe somebody's starting to get more in tune with their intuition. Ah, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay. Knight of Cups here. Somebody's coming in. Or well, you're going out. To offer this... To, so there's some kind of situation where, you know, where is the love? Where is the, there's, the love is gone. They're more, that's it. It's gone. It's an ace of cups. You've got some kind of clingy person that doesn't want to let this go. All right? Whatever this is for you. But you want to move forward because you're looking for some kind of love. And you could be making a decision about, you know, where you're putting your stability and your, where your community is. And where you're going to create and be fertile. Okay? <laughs> and they got this ten of pentacles. You got a fucking ten of pentacles here. I mean, you're creating a ten of pentacles. So, you know, this is good. But the problem is you just have to let this go, whatever this is, because then start this passionate new beginning with Page Pentacles here. Somebody's stable. King of Pentacles. Virgo Capricorn and Taurus. That's nice. Okay, so here you go. It's the King of Cups. It's love. I'm telling you, okay? And it's, it's on your side. So somebody's going to come in and make an offer, whether that's you or them. I don't know. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, shit, and the Ten of Cups, Leo. Look at that. I should have went that one, one more further, something told me. Go one more further. Yeah, now you got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Who the fuck is better than you is what I'm asking you, okay? 1010 is an angel code. Go put that into Google and see where you get a message from your personal guides. Here is some kippers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, there's a thief. I'm hearing a thief of your heart. Somebody can be 42. Just watch out for any fugazi son of a bitch. Somebody can be working in tandem, right? Like, I'll distract you and... You know, I'll pick from your pockets. I'll, I'll distract you while somebody gets something from you. So that could even be at work. Be careful. Somebody's in despair. They just, for whatever reason, listen. You could be, oh, God forbid, homeless. You could be out of work. You could be hungry. Somebody, somebody you might have an alcohol problem. And then the tab on the bar is fucking finished. I mean, an alfinito, man. 
No bueno. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so main male here that could be in despair. This person, because this person might be in despair, this person might steal from you. This person could be a... This, I mean, obviously, look, I'm going to show you, like, it's obvious, okay? There's a main male here. It's not saying that it's the, a, a rich gentleman, it's just a main male. Like, maybe they could use their looks or something here. They're in despair. Maybe they're down rotten. They're down and, you know, out. Look at them. Homeless, hungry, fucking whatever, drug and alcohol problems. And then there's a thief. They could be trying to distract. Now, remember when I said they could distract you with maybe one or two people working in tandem? This could be two energies. This could be like, this could be one person distract, distracting you maybe sexually so they could steal from you. Do you understand me? Let me say that again. Somebody's coming in and distracting you sexually or, and you have something to lose. They could be trying to steal something from you because, yeah, all right, they're a fucking thief. And they, 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 somebody could be passing away, Leo. Look at this. Oh, man. Yeah, because you might get, look at this. Look at it. You, look at it. Look at it. You, oh, man, Leo. I'm so sorry, first of all, if anybody losing somebody. The 19th or the 20th could be of significance. It could be like 91. There could be some unexpected income and a great fortune attached to this. I mean, that's no way to get it. I'm not going to lie. 72, 62. 8, 9, 10 consecutive numbers. Here we go. Could be a mature woman. Somebody's gonna... All right, this is a thief. This buddy's going to jail, man. I'm not telling you. Three hot to the fucking cot for that one. But then again, you do have a lover coming in. So listen, it, it's a mixed bag of Mixed bags. Mixed bag of tricks here. Just be mindful, Leo. And like I said, our deepest condolences if anybody is losing somebody, okay? We love you. We're here for you. Here you go. This is the uh, romance angels. <laughs> okay. Engagement. So some of you, your love life is ascending to a higher level. So if you're not getting engaged, you're single, you're starting a date. If you start a date, maybe you're going to get, you know, monogamy. Something like this. By the way, I don't know. Did I ask you to hit that like and, sub like and subscribe? I am running so late, which I apologize, by the way. Just life has gotten the better of me recently. And um, the problem here is I don't have time to edit. So I have to ask you straight out. Could you please hit that like and subscribe? It's fun. It's free. It's entertainment purpose. It doesn't cost you. It's a, the right thing to do. Make sure you get some messages out. So, uh, you know, an ascension. An ascension in your love life. All right. Now, here you go. Now, you also have to stay optimistic about your love life. Because positive thinking and faith is going to bring you romance. Here we go. And now, one more. You have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That's this Ace of Cups clingy bitch. You know, first class Klingon. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leo. I don't mean to laugh, but I had a few of those myself. First fucking class Klingons, man. Oh, my God. I, I, I You know, I, I was all right, and now I talk about that energy again. I feel like somebody threw a fucking quilt over my head again. Somebody smothering the fuck out of you. Oh, man. Oh, no. And Leos don't like that at all. At all. All right. So, let me tell you. That's a big mistake. Nothing will make you one fucking faster, right? The timing just wasn't right for us. No, it was not. I lost myself for a little while because I couldn't breathe under the blanket. <laughs> oh, Leo. I'm away from a, for a sign from you. I wish things could be different. But they're not. And they're not going to be. So, just move forward in a positive direction, Leo. Moon phases. Moon phases and other astrological signs that may be of significance. This is a time for you to heal. It's a time for letting go. That's what I heard. Something about the balsamic moon. Somebody likes balsamic vinegar. Let's see what else is going on. You also have communication is the key. The new moon in Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Maybe a Gemini in your chart. And cancer. Full moon. A personal issue is going to reach resolution. And you work through your fucking fears. What am I telling you? This is fear here, right? Fear moving forward. The new moon is Scorpio. So you got the new moon twice. Gonna get you the letters, Leo. Oh my God, I'm dying. It's like 195 degrees in this office. I can't even tell you. Here we go. So we have, I'm hearing bear, bear like bear paint, B-E-H-R, B-R-W-L, L-X, L-A-X, I'm hearing, L-E, C, I. Okay, so two I's, an E, and a Y. Two, okay, two I's and two E's, a Y. B-R-W-X, I'm hearing wax, wa waxel, 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 C-L. Something about a cloud, something like this, I don't know. Anyway, all right, look. Thank you very much. Always remember, lead with logic, ends integrity, act with kindness and love, let things go. Fear is your enemy, trust in God, karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.